All right, welcome back to the channel. Have you guys ever had this happen to you after you do a recording? So if you colored this, maybe added some gradient. There's a slight reflection down here of him jogging off the waterline, I can see. I guess if you're nitpicking. So you could do another pass. All right, and it just gets worse from there through this whole section. My solution for this was just to record a replacement voiceover for this section. Rather than typing everything out, I went ahead and used the audio transcription feature. So I grabbed this. This is the section that has the weird distortion effect. I hit F. And that gives me the match frame in my source monitor. And you can just drag it over and drop it. And that gives you a new sub clip. I titled it Bad Audio. So that made a new clip with just this affected section. And then we go in here, you can see I got this bad audio. And what I did was right click and use the audio transcription, hit transcribe, and then we'll pop that window open. So here I have a script essentially of what I was saying. It did a fairly accurate job. There were some spots I had to fix up. And then I exported that as a text file so I could have a script to read to replace it without having to write everything down. And then I used this again for editing on the way back in. So I went ahead and recorded that voiceover and brought that back in. So let's go over to the media pool here. I recorded a full screen capture, this module 3379, and then I just needed the audio from it. So you just right click and hit extract audio. And this is in your media search bin. And then I drug that down into here where you could see the WAV file right here. And then I went back to my regular edit page, so Shift 4. And with this same section selected, I went ahead and did the audio transcription again. And then if we open up the transcription window, here we have line by line of my voiceover, my new voiceover that I recorded. So you can just lasso the line here that you need. And if we go back down to our edit, let's just go ahead and hit play. So if you colored this, maybe added some gradient. There's a slight reflection down here of him jogging. All right, so there's the first two lines. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this. And I'll do the auto track selector here so we can get it at the start of the line and then deselect that. So now we have audio one selected in our auto track selector and you highlight the line. And if you use these edit shortcuts in here, I find that it doesn't do what I want it to do. So if I hit insert, it's gonna cut the video and shift everything over. And I don't want that. I want the timing of the video to remain the same along with this here. So you can, outside of this audio transcription, hit these buttons right in here. So now I want overwrite clip. So now I essentially have this line from my new voiceover replacing this line. So now if we get that out of the way, play this back. So if you colored this, maybe added some gradient. You get the gist, we got this new line here. So now I'll go here and listen to the second line off the water line I could see. So that line is off the water line I could see. So let's park the playhead where we want it. We'll deselect that second track and we'll grab off the water line I could see with a little bit of silence. Hit that, bam, there it is. And that's how you can do it. You just keep moving down the line here. And luckily I only had to do these few lines here and then the audio cleaned back up. Well, that's how I used audio transcription to A, figure out what I was saying over here and give myself a voiceover script, then bring it back in and use that same transcription feature for editing line by line instead of dropping the whole thing down, cutting it up. You could probably do it just as fast doing it that way, but I wanted to see if I could do it with this audio transcription window. I thank you guys for watching as always. I'll see you on the next video.